1900, just like the majority of our, of our steam engines were built that way at the same time. Now Adam's describing this one here. This is uh, 4072. Uh, this is the largest of the cross motors a K10. Mr. Adams is driving. Mr. Adams is driving. Richard is your dad. And here we got the Model E. And, uh, and we got Mr. Grushon on it, aboard, and we got, uh, yeah, they know he's got the sound of the Knox Sirius, the Model E Rumley. This is the large one, this is the large Rumley. Next actor oil flow coming up is Gary Beaver. This one's the one by Reed Bouchon from Missouri. Gary Beaver is at the control of the work. And we have another one for the year. Now these are all considered prairie tractors. Why did they get so popular? Well, gasoline was three dollars a gallon, and uh, the fire heats up in the morning. You went out there and you uh, got them started. You put some gasoline in and got them started, and you worked them. It didn't, you know, it didn't take three hours, four hours of prep before you start. Six cylinder, Twin City. This is the large one, the large Twin City, and then here's the four cylinder. Two power, power. Pioneer was used for belt work and a Pioneer was, a lot of times we send a Pioneer because instead of high, 